This is the land of the chipped away and the home of the distracted. Why do they hate us, Mommy? I heard the young Ground Zero tourists say. Some say it's because they hate freedom. But are Americans truly free? Because of one crazy shoe bomber, I must now walk barefoot on filthy airport floors. Oh, hey, tonight on reality TV, you can watch people lie down in a box of spiders. Chip, chip. Because we have to protect ourselves from potential terrorists, Congress can look at your IRS records merely at its whim. But damn, Enron's CEO sure could throw an amazing birthday party, huh? <laughs> chip, chip, chip. When Californians first voted yes, allowing cancer patients to smoke marijuana, George W. said, no, no, it can't be so. Yet Fox News says Republicans tout less government and states' rights. Chip, 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 chip. Because of right to lifers, judges, uh, sorry, because of right to, li right to life judges, a fertilized egg could get more rights than a 13-year-old girl raped by her uncle. But inquiring minds would rather read about the lurid love lives of their favorite celebrities. Chip, 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 chip. Sure, we're free to live in this country. In fact, Congress can step in and make sure you cannot die. Say, did you tune in to Court TV today and see what Michael Jackson is wearing? Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. Listen, my sisters, do you hear that sound? Chip, chip, chip away. It's the sound of our freedom slowly being torn down. Chip, chip chip away. What's that, my brother? Can you not hear? Chip, chip. Chip away. Turn off your TV. Put down that beer. Chip, chip. Chip away. Our freedoms are chipped away, away one by one while we are distracted by our own love of fun. Chip, 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 chip away. Well, that's nothing I can do about it myself. Give me back my remote. Let the politicians delve. Chip, chip, chip chip away. What is the evil access that they say threatens America the beautiful today? Ignorance, unawareness, and just plain good old-fashioned apathy. Chip, 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 chip away. Chip, chip, chip away. Chip, 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 chip away. Chip, 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 chip. Or the land of the relatively free if you don't count the Patriot Act. <laughs> and the home of the Hey, did you see those, those that meat thing that, that Lady Gaga was wearing at the Emmys? <clears throat> the land of the distracted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm very nervous. Okay. This is my most recent poem, Phone Zombies. Zombies are everywhere these days. They walk down city streets entranced, staring down into their hands, unaware of the azure autumn sky or the golden ginkgo leaves gently waving in the crisp October breeze. Oh no, these zombies do not notice such beauty. So fixed are their eyes upon their handheld devices, they look up from their feverishly flitting thumbs only moments before crashing into other distracted street sleepwalkers. Those few of us with heads erect and eyes alert must navigate around the zombies as best we can, for they do not walk in a straight path, no. We must anticipate which direction the approaching zombie will weave next. As one young female zombie perilously veers close to me, I cry out, heads up, but our crash is unavoidable. You're so rude, she yells at me. I do not stop to engage with her. Phone zombies are not known for their face-to-face -face communication skills, despite having an app for that on their smartphone. <laughs> Smartphones that are dumbing us down, numbing us out to the aliveness of the moment. Oh, yes, phone zombies are everywhere. I sit down on a subway car and glance over at this tall young man, hunched over, sitting in the glow of his cell, light, cell phone light. His phone mere inches from his eyes. I wonder how many years of ignoring his physical being will it take until he looks like the decrepit golem driven to madness by his precious device. <laughs> I can't seem to escape these zombies. My own family sits to dinner, surfing, tweeting, Facebooking. Yes, that's a verb now. You're lucky you were born before cell phones, opines my teenage stepdaughter. I have to answer my text, forgetting in that moment that she seldom answers the ones I send her. 
I reply in my attempt at a Yoda voice. Master of the device you are, not the other way around. <laughs> She didn't hear me. She's lost in her phone again. A friend just sent her a Snapchat. She only has three seconds to look at it and comment before it's lost in cyberspace forever. Ah, oh, my precious. <laughs> That's your name. I'm Lindell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.